Yo, welcome to Spirit-led TV, aiming for life change and peace. My name is Freddie Davis III. Welcome to Spirit-led TV. If this is your first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be informed when another video comes out. So we are continuing the Meditations 40 Days and 40 Nights series. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it as well. I'm enjoying the journey and I'm enjoying sharing this with y'all. So today is no different. Today's topic we got get to work boy actually it's called get to work i just add the boy in there just just for dramatic effect so paul is sending a message to timothy in the ephesus church about uh the things that he's heard and how there are some leaders that are falsinating the doctrine they're they're going away from what the doctrine really is which is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. So there's some leadership in there, somebody doing something that they ain't supposed to be talking about that's not what the Bible is. Now they going away from it instead of going to it. They, they in backwards instead of going forward. So the scripture that we're going to is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. And it reads, If you put these things before the brothers, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, being trained in the words of the faith and of the good doctrine that you have followed, having nothing to do with irreverent, silly myths, rather train yourself for godliness. For while bodily training is some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Amen, Paul. All right, so get to work. What does this mean? Well, a couple of things we can jot down from this. Number one, the word of God is nutrition to our spirit. Yep, I said it. Just like you eat in the mornings, whatever it is, maybe eggs, maybe a protein shake. I know I get a protein shake. You know, stuff that you eat, right? Just like that is nutrition to your health, your body, the Word of God also is nutrition to our spirits. Paul starts out this sentence. He says, you put these things before the brothers. What things, Paul? What are you talking about? Well, we jump mid into the scriptures, all right, In, into the verse. We started at six. So before this verse from chapter one of First Timothy to this verse, there was things that Paul was talking about that uh, leaders um, ought to be good stewards of, like prayer. It talked about men and women in the church. It talked about, you know, things that leaders should be doing. So all these things are necessary for a great leader, you know, um, having wisdom, loving one another as yourselves, of course, making sure that what you are teaching lines up with what the Word of God is saying. You know what I mean? So if there's something that's opposing the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus, then it has to be talked about, especially if somebody talking about it in the same church you at. So that's what Paul's talking about. Get to work. Point number two, rejecting doctrine that opposes the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. That's pretty much self-explanatory as believers, but sometimes, you know, things just might fall into the cracks and you, you always have to Keep in mind, there's a lot of different spirits out there, a lot of different denominations, a lot of different thoughts and theological uh, thoughts on what Jesus is or who Jesus is or, you know, who God is. So the, the best thing that we can do as believers to distinguish that is, OK, well, do you believe in the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus? That pretty much answers the question if you're a believer or not. Number three, train your spirit just as you would train your body. So like athletics you know what i mean when i think about like the bible times when i think about paul you know uh peter and all them i i think like 300 the movie 300 where everybody was in shape and everybody had like six eight pack abs and stuff like that some for some reason that just it just gets in my mind like man they must have been fit and gladiators and stuff who knows? But all I'm saying is that we should train our spirit just like we train our bodies. How do we do that? We should be reading, we should be um, applying these things to help build our spirit. And once we build our spirit, we're more able and more equipped to handle what it, whatever God has for us. You know what I mean? So those things are very important. Just as we would be healthy with our physical bodies, we should be healthy 
with our spiritual body. You feel me? And last but not least, preparing for life after death. In verse eight, Paul says, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. So he's talking about not just the life that we have on earth, but the life that we have after this. Whatever we do on earth in the spirit is for a reason. That's because God has purpose in our life. That's because God has tasked some things for our mission. And so we do those things because we want to be obedient. The focus on changing those things down here is important. In the meanwhile, we should still be, we still have hope for the future, which is salvation in Jesus. We still have uh, this longing for not being complacent to where we are on earth, not being too comfortable to where we, we wanna stay here, but we're longing for our home. We have this, the, the mentality of, you know what, heaven is on my mind and I'm gonna do everything that I can down here, but my oath and where I live, my citizenship is in the kingdom of heaven. Get to work. Listen, you got work to do, I got work to do. Don't let bad habits dictate what your work is. Don't let the things that are holding you back keep you from getting work done. Don't let procrastination keep you from getting work done. Don't let toxic people keep you from getting work done. Don't let you get in the way of getting work done because that happens as people. We we tend to um, focus on the things that we're not good at. And then it just causes us to be like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm a take care of that when I'm more equipped. And then what happens? Two, a week, a month, a year goes by. And then you're still sick, sitting there like, man, I should have done this at that time. Well, this is the time. Get to work, feed your spirit, let it grow, let it develop, and you will be surprised on the outcome that God will put and drive you to, to get to where you need to be. Get to work. I'll, I'll start the clock now. Uh oh, I think I reset my time. You get the point. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Spirit Led TV. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Notification bell, click it, like, comment, share something that's encouraging if I encourage you in some kind of way. Until we meet again, my name is Freddie Davis III, FD3. Talk to y'all later. Peace.